All right, so now we're gonna focus and start on the select command. So here gonna be our focus. We're gonna learn how to query our data. And this is gonna take almost 80% of our tutorials because SQL is all about how to query our data. Then other than that, we're gonna talk about the data manipulations and data definitions at the end. So now let's start with the select command. All right, so before we start writing our first select statements, I want to mention the following. And that's in select statement, there's a lot of clauses. This is not really bad. This gives like SQL dynamic and easy way to use SQL. And each of those clauses has his own definition and own function, which makes it really easy to use. So we have the select in order to select our columns from to select the tables that we need, joins in order to connect two tables together, where in order to filter our data, group by to aggregate the data, having is another way to filter our data, order by is to list our results, and limit is just to limit our results. So those clauses, don't worry about them. I'm gonna explain all of them step by step with examples and tasks and everything. And at the end, you're gonna understand all of them. One more very important aspect to understand in SQL statements is that the order of those clauses are very, very important. So for example, I cannot use at the start from, then we write down the select. So this order is very strict. And if you switch between them, you will get immediately an error in SQL. So that means pay attention to the order of those clauses. Don't miss between them. You need to follow those rules in order to get like your query executed in SQL without any errors. All right, so now the first thing that we need to learn is how to fetch our data from the database how to retrieve all those records and rows from our tables. And to do so, we use the most fundamental SQL statement. We call it select statements or sometimes select query. So now in order to understand all those SQL statements like select, where, join, from, I will be giving you like one task. Then we're going to try to figure out together how we're going to solve it using our tutorial database. In our tutorial database, we have two tables, customers and orders. In the customers tables, we have five customers. And in the orders, we have four orders. All right, so let's start with the first task. Retrieve all data and columns from customers. So that means our focus here on the customers table. And all data, that means all rows. So we need everything or rows and all columns. Okay, so now before we start writing our first query, we need to make sure that we are selecting the right database. As you installed my SQL Workbench, you will be getting some default databases. And after that, we installed our database for the tutorials. So to make sure that we are selecting the right one that we need, either you're gonna double click on it, or you're gonna write this statement. So we're gonna write use, then the database name, db, SQL tutorial and then run. So with that, we make sure that we are on the right database so we don't get any errors. All right, so now let's write our query for the task. So we need all the data from the customers. So the first thing that we specify in the SQL statements for the query is select keyword. After that, since we said all the columns, we're going to use star. Star means all the columns inside this table. After that, we need to tell the database which table that we need. So since we need the customers, we're gonna select the table customers. So we're gonna say from customers. So we have now the query that's gonna select all columns from the table. And here we don't have any like filters or anything. So this is the basics form of SQL. Let's hit run. And as you can see here, now we have the results. We have all five customers from the table customers. And don't forget in SQL, the order is very important. So it always starts with select, then comes from clauses. Because if you do the way around, you will get an error. So make sure that you are getting the right order while you are writing an SQL statement. So now let's do another task where to say, okay, I want to see all the data from orders. So let's do that. 
all data, all columns, that means select, star, from, and now our table is orders. So I'm going to select that table orders here, and then execute. And as you can see now, we can see the database retrieve for orders, and that's right, because this is all what we have in our database. All right, so now you might be saying, I'm not really interested in all the columns from my table. I want to specify a few columns from the table to retrieve. So let's say we have the following task. Retrieve only the first name and the country of all customers. So here the difference from the previous one is that we don't need all the columns. We just need few columns. So let's see how we can solve that. So I'm going to remove this one and start with select. And now I cannot use star because I don't want to have all the columns. So we are interested on the first name. So we write down first name, then comma. The second one is country. And now we need to tell the database from which table. So from customers. And let's run. As you can see here now, we have only two columns, first name and country. And we don't see here the other columns like customer ID or score. So with that, we selected only two columns without using star and we solve the task. Okay, so now just to understand how the database are reacting to our query, I'm gonna show you now step by step what is going on in the database once you query this statement. So the database starts from the table. So we said from customers, that means the database is gonna focus on the customers table. And then it's gonna check, okay, which column we need. So we say first name and country. And since in our SQL statements, there is no filters, it's going to select all the data. So it's going to select everything from the table and as well for countries. And that's how the database implemented our query. All right. So with that, we have learned how to use the select statement. Next, we're going to talk about how to retrieve unique values using the distinct. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.